Okay, next test, at least new to me, is navy blue. The, um, the one on the left there is Cadillac blue, and um, navy blue looks actually more purple than blue from the powder. I picked Cadillac blue to compare it to, thinking it was going to be dark blue. We're going to find out. So let's um, do a little shaking and see what's going on. So, Cadillac Blue I know is going to work well. So, let's see what this is going to give us here. So, you can maybe see that's, you know, that's kind of what it does and it, it comes out pretty good. So let's shake up the navy, see what that does. And I don't know if you notice, I'm not shaking these nearly as much as I had to shake um, the reflective chrome, which we have not um, really put out yet and, and cured it in the oven. So the reflective chrome, the smoke chrome, even silver base. Silver base is probably, in my experience so far, the easiest silver metallic color you can get. So if you want to PC bullets and make them look like they're lead, like new, brand new lead, that's probably your best option. We'll look, we'll take a look at the end, at the end of the video here of all these different colors and see what the smoke, chrome, I was kind of hoping for an old lead look, but we'll see. So, but my point is the amount of shaking you do with at least Cadillac blue, the yellow, the orange, I mean, easy. So when you're picking out PC powder, you know, try and pick stuff that's going to work and not make your work too hard. I'm, again, a lot of this, these new colors I, I bought to test thinking, ah, crapshoot, 50-50. And I don't think I'll be getting the, probably I don't think I'll get the smoke chrome again. We'll see. We'll see how it comes out. So, whoops. Yeah, that's like purple. That looks pretty darn good. Um, and that was not much shaking. So, let's put these on the tray and uh, see see what we get here. I need a tub. All right. Let's make some space. That looks awesome. That, I'm not even going to have to really shake those off. So, let's, um, I don't even know what I put in here. These are the, um, actually it looks like a mix. Mostly the Seiko 955. Um, again, the Seiko 955. So, if anyone out there knows, I'd like to know. I've read a lot of different things. So Seiko was Santa Anita Engineering Company. Apparently they bought out Kramer molds. I don't know when that would have been. And apparently Seiko inherited all the Kramer designs. So apparently this 955 mold design is an old Kramer design. And it's supposed to be the traditional 45 Colt design and the 955 mold is a, a 255 grain. They make a 954 which is 230 grain which I'd like to get but I, I haven't found one either new or used. I got this um, <laughs> I got this 955 on eBay with brand new handles and I don't think the mold was even used um, for a little bit over a hundred bucks shipped. So that's a pretty good deal. And I actually, I like a lot of different molds, but I'll tell you what, Seiko are more money for a reason. They're, I think they're just better molds in general. They, once you get them up to operating temperature, the bullets fall out. Actually, you know what? LBT bullet molds are like that too. They're aluminum, but man, the bullets just freaking fall out. And I get it with NOE hollow points that 
the pins are steel and the, the mold is aluminum and so you can get sticking itch issues and one thing I have found with the hollow point is keep a torch handy and hit the steel pins but still they they stick and you're sometimes you're pounding on the mold I don't get that with Seiko I don't get that with LBT some of the Lee molds in the past have been good um, and I'm not trying to, to bash Lee, but I gotta be honest, the last few years I've had a lot of issues with Lee products and I, I think it's because when Richard Lee passed away, I'm kind of guessing he was out of the picture and quality control was a place to make more money, basically. Um, and I think it shows. That's just my opinion. Um, I had a Lee mold. Well, you know what? Forget it. Um, Lee makes a lot of great products. All I'm saying is I like Seiko molds a lot. I like LBT molds a lot. I like NOE molds a lot. I mean, there's a lot of great molds out there. Oh, so the, the thing I was mentioning about Kramer molds, apparently Seiko bought out Kramer and inherited all their designs. So if anybody knows bullet mold history, I would like to know because I actually have a Kramer 9C mold. That's the mold. It's a copy, a direct, direct copy, like lube groove everything of a Lyman 358-318 mold. It's a direct copy. And um, if that's the case, it something doesn't make sense there because... And that's all the Navy. If if Kramer sold out to Seiko, does that mean that Lyman copied the Seiko, the Kramer mold design? Um, it's just a strange thing because I just always assumed that Lyman, um, which I believe would have been ideal at the time, they they originated the three five eight. 318 mold um, but if what I've read about Kramer being bought by Seiko and and they inherited Seiko inherited all the designs well Seiko never um, issued that mold and Lyman it's been discontinued a long time I don't even know um, but Nevertheless, a great mold, and if you want the Lyman 358-318 mold, just go to NOE. They make a great copy. They make a hollow point copy, and it's an amazing bullet. So, I am going to cut the camera, and we're going to come back with a full tray of Cadillac and Navy. Oh, okay, so you can see the tray on the right is Navy Blue, which is the purple <laughs> looking ones and Cadillac blue in the middle and that was kind of the point of getting the navy well actually they were out of Cadillac blue so I wanted to see you know is it coat well and how does it look it coats really I think better than Cadillac blue on the left I've got Vermilion or Chevy Orange and um, the Eastwood color is it I think it's yellow orange <laughs> or orange yellow one or the other um, they seem to cope pretty good. So we're going to go over to the sink and the oven just popped and we're going to see how the copper penny with one teaspoon of red looks. Who knows? Probably a crapshoot, but here we go. Okay, so we've got our fry later tray in the sink. I'm going to pull the bullets over, give you a look at them before we quench them. Let's see what these things look like. Hmm, actually not bad. Maybe. <laughs> well, interesting. So we've got the... There's the copper red, which isn't bad. Vermilion, orange, and then the orange yellow. And here they go. Water. There goes our parchment paper. So, it's 
Sometimes you lose a parchment paper. Oh well. There you go.